Here's how you make a DIY freeze dryer. Oreos not included. Start with your favorite candy, but just remember not all candies are going to work. We're just going to pretend like that one's not broken. Full disclosure, this is actually not freeze drying, it's just vacuum drying. Start with vacuum chamber and vacuum pump. On a freeze dryer, there's three systems. The refrigeration, the heating, and the vacuum, like what we have here. We're just going to delete heating and refrigeration and only use vacuum for this. I got this set up for about 100 bucks on Amazon. I build Blue Alpine freeze dryers for a living, so this is missing a lot of components, but it'll work in a pinch. If you're doing candy like this, you've actually got to preheat the candy, otherwise it won't puff like this. I just warmed this up in the microwave. After about two hours, all the water will boil off, but you do send all the water to the vacuum pump, so you're gonna have to change the oil. The beauty of doing it this way is that it's cheap, and it can be a fun science experiment for the kids. That actually tastes a little like plastic. Yeah, that tastes like brand new acrylic. <laughs> like, like the fumes from the acrylic totally absorbed into this little guy. I don't know that I want another bite. 